Hi guys, happy Tuesday. It's kind of late. We were doing home projects and homeschool and all the home things today, um, but I'm on. I have some errands to run in this afternoon, so it's all good. All right, we're just putting this in a couple places and then we're gonna be good to go. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we're gonna be using products from the 18 piece makeup kit today. If I use something that does not come in the makeup kit, I will definitely let you know that it isn't a part of it. There are some items that we have right now that are out of stock, but they are in stock if inside of the makeup kit. Hi Gemma, hi Suzanne, hi Jojo, hi Vanessa. All right, so the first thing we're doing is starting with makeup primer, number one. Hey girl, hey. So makeup primer always first. Um, so like I was saying, there are some items that we're just waiting to come back into stock. Um, corona and shipment delays just kind of pushed some things back because transit times are taking longer with social distancing. So that's okay. We're just waiting for them. Um, I'm trying not to show people things that they can't get because it's incredibly frustrating. So um, we're, I'm just going to show you 18 piece makeup kit stuff. One of the items in it is bronzer, which is available with the makeup kit, but it is not available on its own. So I'm just going to let you know those things right now. Um, the glow palette is right now out of stock. So um, we're just waiting for it to come back in, but it should be in pretty soon. So don't fret too much about that. All right, so to get a little glow on my skin without using the glow palette, I'm going to go in with our highlight and glow stick. Um, so this is super easy product, and I'm going to add this to my face before I do my foundation. And it's going to let that glow kind of shine first. So I'm going to take the highlight portion of it. That's the contour portion of it. So I'm just going to put the highlight on my face, on my skin, before I do anything else. Weird, right? But you can see the glow. And we're going to kind of glow from within. This is super easy to just like draw on your face. Okay, and then we're going to take the contour side. Hi, Rachel and Kristen and Abby. Rachel, contour side. Just feel for that cheekbone and go right on the underside of it. Forehead. Sides of the nose. And this also has a little bit of glow in it. It's not just dark. And jaw area. All right, so now we have our glow ready to rock. Very interesting. It is interesting. Oh God, I hear children crying and it's definitely over a video game, which I can't handle. All right, so this was the sheer glow highlight and contour stick. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with liquid uh, liquid foundation and this is in the shade soft blush which is like my perfect shade for me right now I'm starting to get a little bit more tan I was considering blending this with what's the matter Del Chase pushed you come here hold on a second Here. What happened? Come here. should take a break from the video game for a little while why don't you go get your tablet and chill in your room for a little while and calm down and chase what we need to we need to i was i was helping him but then you then snapped but then you snapped so why don't you get your harry potter book out until i'm finished here get your harry potter book out go in your room and read and calm down and you go get your tablet and go in your room and calm down for a little while and i will come and get you i wasn't i wasn't i'm not punishing I wasn't you playing the game i wasn't playing the game okay I, I want you both to go to your rooms and just chill out for a little while until I'm done with this. After, could I play the PS4 because he's talking it? We will talk about it after. Okay? So that didn't go well. Uh, I want to get these projects. Jenny, send me a message and I'll get you all hooked up. Uh, the must have, the 18 piece makeup kit is for sure the best way to go. Hi, Elson. Hi, Amina. Mom life, really. 
welcome to my world. Dylan is a master at, he's so sensitive. He's just incredibly, like you can throw this poor child off of his game immediately. So, um, you know, Chase is not sensitive and he doesn't understand sometimes that Dylan is three and a half years younger and it's, it can be a problem. He's actually a great big brother for the most part. We don't have a lot of problems between the two of them, but Dylan is the baby and we do baby him. So it's a problem. I handled it like a pro because there's witnesses and you guys can see if I was to lose my mind because sometimes I do that too. Mom, mom boy life is real. I also like mixing the self tanner with my moisturizer too. Oh my God, it's so good. All right, so in, we want to go glowy, right? We didn't just draw all over our skin so that we look flat and boring. So I'm going to take a little bit of medium CC cream and just a little bit. I also like that it has SPF 30 in it and I need that. And then I'm going to put a full pump of soft blush. Actually, that was like three quarters of a pump. Um, and we're going to mix this together and spread this on my face. I don't know, you guys, sometimes the parenting is easy and sometimes the parenting makes you do a curbside order at Exit 9 Wine and Liquor Warehouse. That's all I'm saying. Like, there are just days where it clicks and there are days where you feel like you're not gonna make it through. <laughs> Today has actually not been bad. It's just, you know, they're getting to the point where they're bored, like this is boring. Do you have to use your foundation or can I use my own? I mean, I love our foundation for a multitude of reasons. Um, I don't know what you're using, Stephanie, but, you know, let me know. And, you know, you don't have to ditch all of your products all at once to, to make a change. Um, but I definitely would encourage you to migrate over to clean, non-toxic ones. Hi, Carol. All right, so our CC cream in medium and our soft blush liquid foundation have been blended together. And I'm just going to pounce them in my skin with a damp, clean eco tool sponge. Hi, Carol. Uh, Stephanie, just send me a message with a selfie. If you take a picture of yourself in front of a window, face a window, and just send me a picture, I can color match you easy. All right, blending this in. Da, da, da. So there are some products that I'm gonna to use today, like if you hadn't been on it first. Um, the Eco, or the Eco Tool Sponge, the bronzer is only available in the 18 piece makeup kit for right now until we get a new stock shipment of it. So there are some things that might look out of stock if you're trying to piece things together. But the 18 piece makeup kit for preferred customers is more than 40% off with free shipping and a free gift. Love my hoops is my nickname, <laughs> Cassidy. <gasps> Hi, Susie. I also tend to get much darker in the summer. That's no problem. I can help you with that too. Um, getting darker right now right where we are seasonally, a lot of my customers are saying, well, I'm this color right now, but I anticipate being a little bit darker soon because I go out in the sun a lot. Just let me know. Maybe you could send me a picture from last summer and then one where you're at right now. Um, we could probably get you a CC cream and a foundation and blend them together just like I did today to make your perfect shade. Okay. Da, da, da. We're good. All right, so we're all blended in and I'm getting that glow coming through my skin, not only because of the CC cream, but because of that stick. Okay, let me just divide and conquer here so I know what I used and what I didn't. All right, so now we're gonna go in with our light concealer. Um, I usually use fair, but I'm gonna use light today only because I just, I don't want it to be super duper bright. So we're just gonna go kind of like middle of the road bright and do my forehead, my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin, and my jaw. You can't have enough concealer for me. You can't highlight enough. All right, so I'm gonna take the short flat side of this sponge and just blend this bad boy together. And obviously, guys, if you have questions at any point during this, just feel free to comment here and I'll answer them as they pop through. So when you have a little bit of dampness in your sponge because you washed it, for example, like I did, um, it just blends that concealer in a little bit easier and you're not going to get all that creasing. I put very little concealer on my under eye area because that is the thinnest skin on your face 
and you're gonna notice your fine lines increasing there first if you put a ton of product on. So I try to avoid that as much as I can. All right, forehead. What's the price of the 18 piece? Um, Steph, send me over a message and I will send you over what it is for a preferred customer. Hi, Nicole. I've got some specials going this month anyway. Okay, so our highlight shade in light concealer is now blended in. And I'm gonna go in with our Setting Pretty Setting Powder, another item that is available in the 18 piece makeup kit. I don't know that it's available outside of it though. So I'm gonna take the sponge, short flat side, and I'm just going to press this on my under eye area. This is gonna set that powder without adding a ton of weight to it or set the concealer without adding weight and just brighten it up. This also has the prettiest like mineral shimmer to it and it's completely non-toxic. Everything that I use from Arbonne is botanically based, non-toxic, gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, cruelty-free, non-GMO, um, plant-based, vegan, the whole nine yards. Were you exhausted from yesterday? You did so great, makeup looked awesome. Um, I actually ended up staying up until 2 a.m. watching Sons of Anarchy. We're re-watching that. That's one of my favorite shows. Um, so we decided to re-watch Sons of Anarchy. And I get so wrapped up in this show that I'm just, I don't even care if my eyes are bleeding. I'm like, another episode, another episode. I'm the worst person to binge watch something with because I will push you to keep watching. I'm a real problem, is what I'm trying to say. Hi, Judy. Oh my God, I love that show too. And it's it's so good. Like it was amazing the first time that we watched it because everything was a surprise, obviously. But now watching it again the second time and I kind of know what to expect. I'm like, we have all this commentary about it between the two of us. It's kind of funny. All right, so Glow On Bronzer, hands down my favorite bronzer ever, ever, ever. It's out of stock right now unless you get the 18 piece kit. So I'm just gonna go on and look at the pigment in that. It's so good. I'm gonna order a couple of our dark contour powders um, and start showing you those because I know some people don't like glow and they like more of a matte finish. So I'm gonna get some things when I do my order this week just to kind of give you guys a little bit more variety. I know everybody does their makeup differently and I like to kind of challenge myself to do my makeup differently too. So we're gonna, we're gonna restock and get some new goodies in for you guys. There's no point in tuning into me every day if you're gonna see the exact same thing over and over again, right? That's how, that's how I think at least. Right down the sides of my nose. Contour that puppy in. All right, jawline. Get that big hoop energy going. I watched the first couple of seasons and it somehow got away from me. I honestly think the first few seasons of Sons of Anarchy was the best ones. Um, after a while, it got harder to watch. I think like the crimes got more grisly and like your favorite characters tended to drop off. And so like that always gets hard for me. Sometimes I need like an emotional break from really like dramatic series because I'm super sensitive to things like that. And I fall in love with the characters on there and I get like heartbroken when something happens to them. So there were so many things, especially in Sons, where I'm like, come on, we just need like, can we get a nice episode here? Can we get an episode where everything goes great for people? I need it. I need it for myself. Every time I watch you, I contemplate so hard cutting my hair. Oh my God, don't. I wish my hair was like down to here right now because I'll never learn. I will grow my hair and I guarantee you in two years, I will cut it again. Like this is just, I was actually looking at my time hop today and a picture from 2018 popped up and I was looking at the makeup in it and then I noticed that my hair was the exact same length that it is right now. I'm like, oh, I guess I never learn. And it's true, I never learn. 
I, I bust on my children for it, but I'm just as bad. Okay, so we're gonna go in with blush in the shade Taffeta today. This is one of my favorite summer shades. Don't get scared of it, it's phenomenal. And I'm gonna show you why in a second, because everything, <clears throat> excuse me, is hyper pigmented. So literally I just touch it once and there's so much color on it. So I just kind of dust it off and then I brush it on the apples of my cheeks. But like literally there's nothing to be scared of. A lot of color in here is exactly what you want. Perfect for spring. It just adds a little bit of glow on your cheek. Don't let it freak you out. It's just makeup. Have fun with it. And obviously you can put it on as many times. You can concentrate the color and you can really bring that pink in if you want to. But I personally love blush. I, it was an undersold item for me before because I really didn't think it added a ton of value to your face. But it just makes you look really like healthy and glowy and youthful. So we're keeping the blush. That's happening. All right, so let's go in with light brow pencil and shape up our brows. Okay. Obsessed with our, all these products, like I said, come in the 18 piece kit. All right, so we're brushing our brows up with the little spoolie on the end. And then I'm just gonna fill in from the front to the back. And I love that this pencil has like a little bit of a waxy type feel to it so that you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting pigment and you're getting control on your brow. Fill in that arch to the tail. When I've seen those meatballs you made on salivating, the meatballs are so good and I'm reading them again tonight because I cooked all day yesterday. So now I'm reaping the benefits of reheating dinner. We're getting a freezer in a couple of weeks. We ordered it and we have to wait for it to be delivered. And so I told Justin that when the freezer comes, I'm making like a giant army sized vat of it and portioning it off and putting it in the freezer so that I don't have to make it during the summer because I hate being trapped inside in the summer. Hi, Angel. Okay. Arch to tail. Fill in the front. Honestly, these brow products give you the greatest finish on your brow without it looking phony baloney. I don't do the phony baloney look anymore. It's not for me. All right, so let's go in with the light medium brow gel. Right now, the only brow gel that is out of stock is the clear, but the light medium and the medium dark are both in stock. So I just brush a little bit up. It texturizes your brows. It makes them look a little bit fuller and thicker, and it does give it a little bit more pigment. especially if you have like longer brows or more wiry brows, you're gonna be in love with this product. All right, let's go in with Addiction, uh, it's all in the eyes palette too. Right now, palette one is sold out unless you get it in the 18 piece kit. So I'm gonna show you palette two, not because of palette one status, but because I love this, especially for spring and summer, it's super pretty. So let's go in and grab my blending brush. Every time I do my makeup, I swear I just lose something. There it is. All right, so let's go in the corner with this really pretty shade called Amethyst right here. And I'm just gonna kind of blend this into the crease and towards the corner of my eye. It's kind of like a smoky purple. Okay, blending, blending, blending. All right, and then we're gonna go in with the shade Aurora, which is this darker purple. And I'm gonna keep that right in the back corner and concentrate it with the crease and just really blend it out well so that it doesn't look like too precise. I mean, this is a daytime look after all. 
Um, because the colors are hyperpigmented, I just try to put a little bit on at a time. That way it's easier to blend out. When you have a ton of pigment on, you're just, and you're working in such a small area, you're gonna find that it's a little bit harder to blend it out. But I just add a little bit in when I want a darker color and call it a day. All right, and then I'm gonna take the shade Opal, this guy right here, and I'm gonna put it on the inside corner of my eye and just really brighten that up. It's got like a bit of a metallic shimmer to it. So let's go in with a little bit of black eyeliner. This is the shade Carbon. Um, all of our eye products, all of our products period, are hypoallergenic, but for me especially, eye products need to be or else my eyes get really itchy and um, water all day long. So I love this stuff. It's really easy to blend too. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on and blend it right into my lash line. so that my lashes look darker and thicker and a little bit more beefy. Totally here for a big lash moment and a big lip moment. Okay, make sure that they're even. And then what I'm gonna do is take just a little angled brush Okay, little angled brush, nothing on it. And I'm gonna blend this out a little bit. This is what I'm talking about, how soft it is and easy to blend. Literally, you can manipulate it and soften that edge so that it doesn't look quite so precise and you get a little bit more of like a smoldery look. Hi, Evelyn, hi, Lindsay. Blend it out. Get in that smolder. All right, so Speaks Volume Mascara. This comes, again, in the 18-piece kit. I'm using, like, every drop of what's in here before I open my next one. And I'm going to do two coats, and I'm going to get nice and close to the inside corner of my eye. And... This does a beautiful job of separating your lashes so you don't get that chunky, like over-processed mascara look. It literally just looks nice and soft and defined. Gives you a little bit of eye drama. And I'm still gonna do two coats because I can't stop. Who thought at one point, I remember doing my makeup in like middle school and high school and at that point, I was wearing like blue eyeliner on my top lash line and white eyeliner in my tear well and ay ay ay. Taking a compact full of cream foundation and just wiping it all over my face from top to bottom, not blending into my neck. You know, a Bonnie Bell lip smacker on my lips. Those were the days. Those were the days. Okay, and then we're gonna take what we have left over on our lash wand and just add it to lower baby lashes. Hi, Rosie. Okay. So I'm gonna take a spoolie. I went a little bit thick here. I hate a tarantula lash. Okay, fixed, fixed, fixed. You guys are gonna laugh, but I think I'm gonna add a little bit more blush. I was very sparing with it. And I think I just wanna jazz it up a little bit more. Don't be scared. Go for the blush. Okay, let's go in with a fun lip. So I'm gonna do my lip liner in Berry, my lipstick in Lily, 
and then I'm gonna go over it with Primrose Gloss. I was watching The Last Dance with my husband and hearing a lot of mid-90s music. It took me back. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, The Last Dance. Justin and I were watching, God, what we were watching the other day, and Chase came in, and he thought it was like a spoof. It was like a joke, and I was like, nope. Oh, 10 Things I Hate About You. Chase thought it was like a joke video. And I was like, Heath Ledger is a legend. Okay. Mom? Mm-hmm. Mom? Yes? Can you do what? Can I do that yeah. You weren't being, you weren't having to read as a punishment, Chase. I just needed the two of you to chill out for a little while. Okay, you can be done. That's fine. How about you get dressed and make your bed though, please? It's only nine o'clock. Thank you. All right, so let's blend in the lip liner a little bit. And just kind of like soften it up. Okay. And now I'm going to go in with Lily lipstick. So Lily is pretty soft pink. All right. And then we're going to take our concealer that we used on our face earlier in the shade light. Make a little magic happen with this. I just pinch a little bit off on the end. And we're gonna blend it into the center of our lips. Give ourselves a little lip drama. This is like a really fun, easy way of using products that you already have to change your look. So you could do just straight up lip stick, do straight up lip gloss, you could merge these two, you could add a little concealer, give it a whole new look, you could ultra line your lips and just throw gloss on it. Like you can literally do your lips a ton of different ways. If you have like four products, you're golden. All right, so we're just gonna let that dry. If you let this step dry a little bit more, it's gonna stay put all day long. The, the key to keeping your lip well I don't want to say it. So key to keeping your lip stay to put, staying put all day long is one, to line it. That waxy border keeps your lipstick from leaving. Two, obviously don't wipe your mouth with a napkin directly. Three, let your lipstick dry. Four, do not over apply product. And five, seal it with a gloss. All right, so I'm going in with Primrose Gloss. And I start right in the center. and then blend it down the corners. And I'm not going to take more gloss. There's plenty on there. See, it still looks nice and bright in the middle, but it doesn't look like she just obviously took concealer and put it on there. All right, do we need anything else? I think we're good. I think we are good. Just make sure that that under eye concealer is still nice and clean and bright. Thank you, Carol. All right, and then we're gonna set it. This does not come with the 18 piece makeup kit, but I highly recommend adding it on. It's the setting spray, the refreshing spray. It just seals. Smells so good. It seals your makeup in and it gives you just a nice glowy complexion. So everything I used here today was 18 piece makeup kit related, except for these three products. So I added CC cream to my foundation to kind of darken it up for summer. And I love to use just CC cream a lot of times in the summer for an easy SPF finish. Um, this has SPF 30 in it. So instead of just putting sunscreen on, I'll throw a little CC cream on and it's double duty. So I added this. And I added our Sheer Glow Highlight Stick 
underneath so that I got some glow on my face without having to use a powder luminizer. And then I finished with the setting spray. So I will go take a picture in that mirror and I will list all the products that I use today so that you guys can go shopping. But if you need to get color matched or anything, just reach out. Um, let me know how we can help you and we'll get you all set. But I love you guys. Hopefully I will see you here tomorrow. Carol, send me a before and after. I can't wait to hear what you think. All right, guys, have a great night and stay safe and I will see you soon.